are interested in knowing whether a bleeding clinically is platelet based or coagulation clotting factor based. There are many ways you can uh, clinically distinguish between the two. You can do it in a tabulated form. Now, before we start discussing these, uh, you should know that bleeding manifestations can occur at various sites. There can be superficial bleeds and there can be deep bleeds. Deep bleeds will occur inside the organ systems. Superficial bleeds will be in the form of mucocutaneous bleeds. Mucocutaneous bleeds will include your skin bleeds like petechiae purpurea chymosis. It will include your epistaxis, bleeding gums. It will include hematemesis and melina that is bleeding from the GIT. All this is considered as superficial bleeds. Now, there is a commonly asked, commonly considered thing. What is petechiae? What is purpurea? What is echymosis? Remember that all the three are a type of cutaneous bleeds. The difference is mainly related to size. Small pinpoint bleeds are petechiae, slightly larger are purpurea, and large geographical areas formed due to coalescence is echymosis. In my time, in my YY at that time, I had a case uh, related to bleeding disorder and I was asked what is the size of petechia and what is the size of purpura. I fumbled at that time, but um, I almost gave the correct answer. But now I know and uh, nobody should mark it wrong. Even in super speciality exam, you may get questions like these. Simple, innocuous looking questions. What is the size of petechia? What is the size of purpura? Now, this is a very controversial thing. American Academy of Pediatrics and American Academy of Dermatology, both of them say that petechiae are skin lesions which are equal to or less than 3 millimeters in diameter. So, petechiae will be 1 to 3 millimeters in diameter. Purpure are the lesions which are between some books say 3, some say 4. So, 4 to 10 millimeters that is 1 centimeter in size whereas achymosis are these lesions which are greater than 1 centimeter 10 millimeter is equal to 1 centimeter so more than 10 millimeter or 1 centimeter will be achymosis again if you try to look at the rch guidelines they use slightly different values if you look at the indian dermatology textbooks they use a slightly different value but this is the one which is mentioned in many of the publications of American Academy of Dermatology and this is the one we are supposed to remember at two different places uh, in the older Nelson similar values have been used. In the new Nelson this categorization is no longer there. So with this in mind let us talk about the platelet and clotting factor based differences. Platelet factor bleeds are usually superficial mucocutaneous bleeds. For example, petechiae, for example, epistaxis, whereas clotting factor bleeds will be in the form of deeper internal organ LA, internal organ based bleeds. Example, heme arthrosis. Platelet factor bleeds, the most common sites include the skin, ENT mucosa and the GIT mucosa. Whereas in clotting factor bleeds, the most common sites include soft tissues, muscles where can be muscle hematomas can form and the joints. Platelet factor bleeds, petechiae are usually present. Whereas clotting factor bleed, petechiae are usually absent. Here, the achymosis, purpura can occur in both. Although they are more common in platelet factor bleeds. Achymosis are superficial and small. Whereas here, the achymosis are deeper. Platelet factor bleeds, they are common with trivial trauma. Clotting factor bleeds are rare with trivial trauma unless they are very severe. Whenever surgery is done post-operatively, in platelet factor bleed, they show immediate bleeding. 
whereas clotting factor bleed post operatively will show delayed bleeding usually on first to third day so these are the points which clinically can help you in a scenario also and in an mcq also whether a bleed is platelet based or a clotting factor based